Anger is a natural emotion. Mild forms of anger include displeasure, irritation or dislike. Anger can come as a reaction, to criticism, threat, or frustration. There are times, when we fly into a fury, such as when we face an outrageous situation, or when we have an argument with a loved one. We may think that our anger is justified, and we have every right to be angry. But do you know, what happens each time you get angry? Firstly, the first spark of anger activates our amygdala. The part of our brain, that's involved with the experiencing of emotions, before you're even aware of the anger itself. This begins a chain reaction, in our brain, which leads to our adrenal glands secreting stress hormones, like cortisol, adrenaline, and noradrenaline. Cortisol is released in response, to stress and low blood glucose concentration. It functions to increase blood sugar, to suppress the immune system, and to aid in the metabolism of fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Adrenaline increases blood flow to muscles, output of the heart, pupil dilation, and blood sugar. Noradrenaline increases arousal and alertness, and focuses attention, it also increases restlessness and anxiety. In our body, it increases heart rate, and blood pressure. In a real life dangerous situation, like if we're faced with a robber, the activation of these hormones is a good thing, because all our body's senses, and functions are now channeled to deal with the physical danger. We react quickly, we are more alert, and our heart beats faster, which will help us act fast and deal with the danger. But when stress hormones keep getting released, despite no real danger, this creates a chain of negative effects on our body. One. Elevated cortisol causes a loss of neurons in our prefrontal cortex. This keeps you from making good decisions for the future. Two. Elevated cortisol kills neurons in the hippocampus, and disrupts creation of new ones. This weakens short-term memory, and prevents you from forming new memories properly. 3. Too much cortisol decreases serotonin, the hormone that makes you happy. This makes you feel anger, and pain more easily, as well as increase aggressive behavior, and lead to depression. Reduce your intensity of anger in each conflict. Here are some simple tips. Talk things calmly. Find ways to address the issues, frustrating you without anger. Be the bigger person. 
Cut off toxic relationships. Spend more time in nature. Divert your energy to constructive things.